all right guys here we are again we're out here another morning and uh, I'm gonna cook another breakfast for you guys on the Blackstone griddle <clears throat> and we'll kind of see how it goes I had it on for a minute I'll turn it down to medium heat now and uh, we'll get to cooking this I've never cooked this before this is uh, this is a new one on me it's one of the recipes that comes with the grill and I decided well why not why not try that right so let's go ahead and try that out so this is turkey bacon if you prefer real bacon you certainly can choose to use real bacon Eh, that should be enough bacon. Eh, maybe one more. Maybe one more. Maybe. I like bacon. Bacon's one of my favorite. I like turkey bacon. Your mileage may vary. And what we're going to want to do now, get ourselves some butter, put some butter right there. Spread some butter around right in here. I'm gonna put a little butter right there. A little butter, a little butter, a little butter. All right, we're gonna throw some butter down right there. And then what we're gonna do here is get us uh, just a pack of. Uh, Man, I had butter on my fingers. Now I can't get the vegetables out. But anyway, this is a pre-sliced up vegetable thing that I got at the grocery store here. And uh, it's kind of handy dandy. You don't have to chop any of the vegetables yourself. Makes it a little bit easier to make a breakfast like this. And I'm just gonna use about half of everything. That ought to do it. See how that bacon's looking. Put a little salt and pepper right here. Just a little bit. Salt and pepper these just a little bit right there. Bacon starting to starting to cook real well up here. There we go. That's how I like my bacon. I think what we'll do is start moving this bacon over here to one side. There we go. There we go. So we'll move the bacon over there to one side. That's pretty well going to be done. Then we're going to throw down some more, some more butter right here in this area right in here. Okay. Mushrooms and potatoes. Right here, there's mushrooms and potatoes right here. We have them cooking up right there. Start kind of sauteing them. Right there in the middle. There we go. Start stirring these over here again a little bit. 
Okay. Still doing okay over here on this bag in here. Just get nice and crispy. Probably throw that one over there. Throw a little salt and pepper on here. A little salt and pepper right there. A little salt and pepper right there. And then we're gonna again douse it with a little bit more butter right there. Pretty well done, and then we'll scotch them over to this one side over here, over there, and mix them all up. And now we'll move it over. We're gonna move all that over. Is uh, cook the eggs now. So I'm gonna take my eggs. more here there we go there's our our eggs and then we'll do a little a little salt and pepper again right here just a sprinkle of salt there we go and then what I'm gonna do here <coughs> scramble these up Get good and scrambled up there we go let this cook just a little bit more and then what we're going to do is uh, mix it all together that should be good we're going to mix all of this together we're going to have ourselves this all together there you go alright boy that looking good right there that's looking good right there ain't it this is called the uh, mountain man <coughs> scramble in the uh, book that comes with the grill and uh, never cooked it before but I'll tell you what it sure does look good I can't wait to try this out does look good. We're just kind of mixing it around to get all that egg cooked up, and I think we're good right here. All right. Put my Mountain Man scramble in this bowl, and then everybody can eat from eat from in this bowl right here I mean dish out their portions on their own plate <laughs> not like we all sit around in a circle and we eat out of this bowl that's not what I meant okay okay now let's get our bacon there's our bacon right there all right, guys. And then uh, I forgot to put the cheese on. Hold on one second. Forgot to put the cheese on. Let me put the cheese on like this, which isn't ideal. And then I'll kind of stir it around, and you know, that's uh, yeah, like I I meant I meant to do that. That's how I meant to do it. All right, so I take my spatula here. Give the cheese a little, a little stirring up. There we go. There you go, you can't tell. You can't tell I, I didn't put that on there from original. So then we get our, our bacon back. Get our bacon back over here. And we are golden, boys. All right, thanks for watching another uh, Cooking with Your Uncle Tom. We'll catch you later on that end. Okay. 
<clears throat> okay guys, I'm gonna try it uh, for the first time. Right now, see what this tastes like. First time I've ever tried it. It's hot, boy. Oh man, oh man. That is amazing. That is amazing, guys. Love it, absolutely love it. It's amazing. Holy smokes. I'm really enjoying this grill, man. You want to check it out? Check the link in the description. Talk to you guys later. On and in. Okay, guys. I thought I'd uh, show you how to clean this up again. And as you can see, we have uh, definitely uh, dirtied up the grill. Let me show you how easy it is to, uh, to do something about this. First thing we're going to do is fire this up. Turn it on high, and while it's heating up, the only the only thing we're going to do is just kind of brush off all the debris. Just brush it off onto the table, whatnot. That's what I do. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to brush off all the loose stuff. Okay. Then we're going to take our water. By the way, I use uh, RO water, so it has less minerals in it. And uh, then I'm just gonna, okay, it's not hot enough yet. We have not, it's awful windy out here, guys. Sorry about that. So I won't be using that again. So we know it's not hot enough yet because that water did not just uh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So we'll wait a minute. There we go. See, now we got a sizzle. And I'm just going to take my scraper, scrape off, scrape off any of the excess. real nice and clean right there so what we'll do now after we've taken it and scraped it all the uh, stuff off of it now I'm just gonna take my uh, wet towel this is a uh, pretty wet towel I'm gonna take my uh, flame I'm gonna put it down on medium so I don't burn the bejesus out of myself and then I'm just gonna wipe Wipe the grill. Okay, so I'm going to wipe the sides now just to get the food that I got on the sides here off. Okay, and then we're going to wipe. Center down one more time. Real good. And uh, that's it, guys. That grill is, uh, you know, ready to go again. This thing is just super easy to clean. I mean, when you're out camping, I mean, you're wanting something you can use multiple times and that uh, stays real nice and clean or is easy to clean, easy to take care of. You set this on a table and it'll be your camping buddy. But uh, anyway, that's all there is to it, guys. Again, I am not affiliated with uh, with uh, Blackstone in any way. I bought this grill, or actually this 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 griddle was uh, gifted to me for my birthday, and uh, we are not affiliated. They did not send me this. Uh, for review or anything like that this is completely unbiased opinions of the situation I have nothing to gain by uh, telling you that uh, this is uh, this is the real deal it's a really nice griddle so uh, 
with that said, uh, we'll catch you on the next one next time I cook something. If you guys like these, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys like me showing you how to uh, how to cook these breakfasts and stuff and and uh, hamburgers or whatever it is. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying these videos, and uh, I'll keep making them for you. Talk to you guys later. On that end.